We want to solve this problem. An irrigation sprinkler in a field, an irrigation sprinkler in a field of lettuce sprays water over a distance of 40 feet as it rotates through an angle, an angle of 145 degrees. Now, what area of the field receives water? What area of the field receives water? So usually the best way to interpret questions of this nature that has to do with you trying to picture what is going on. You're trying to see um, a clear picture or kind of like a kind of very good understanding of what's happening here. The best thing is to give a diagrammatic representation of, of what is going on in the problem. So though I'm not very much of a good artist, but I could just sketch an irrigation sprinkler here. So let's say this is our irrigation sprinkler. So it begins to spit out water. It's, it begins to spit the water out. So we are told that it spits the water over a distance of 40 feet as it rotates through an angle of 145 degrees. So let's say it starts from here. It begins to spit the water in this direction. And then it keeps on going. It keeps on spitting it, spitting it, spitting it until it has covered a distance of 145 degrees something like this so at this stage it has covered 145 degrees so when it reaches here again it comes back again it comes to and fro to and fro so we are told that the irrigation sprinkler sprays water over a distance of 40 feet so that is the distance from here to here we're told that this distance here is 40 is 40 feet now what the question says is that what is the area of the field that receives water now this is the this is the area that receives water this is the grass here this is the area that receives water so to find the area what we know is that the area of this area you can see that this has the shape of a sector so the area of a sector the area of a sector is given by half r squared times theta so this is the formula for the area of a sector in which the angle subtended by that the sector subtends at the center of a circle is theta so and then we note that the theta we have here is in radians so the theta here is in radians anyway before i begin to do anything i need to convert my theta here to radians. Now you recall that pi radian, a pi radian is equivalent to 180 degrees. So since what you have here is 145 degrees, so to convert this to to pi radian, so we could just cross multiply. So that will be 145 times pi. So that will be 145 times pi, then divided by 180 degrees. So in other words. Our angle, which is theta, in radians is 145 pi divided by 180 degrees. So on that note, we are told to find the area of a sector. So now we know we know the value of this. But then to find the area of a sector, I also need to know the value of the radius, which I'm not given. But then I've been given an information that is going to help me to determine the radius. What is the information? That is this. I've been told that the length of the arc is 40 feet. So I'm going to use this information here to find the radius. So information one, the length of arc. So the length of arc of a sector, we, told, we are told that the length of arc, which is S, is given by R theta. So this is the formula for the length of an arc. So we are told the S, our S, which is the length of the arc, is, is 40 equals the radius times theta so what's our theta so this is our new theta here which is 145 pi divided by 180 so to find r so you could just cross multiply so this becomes 40 times 180 divided by 145 145 pi so this is going to be your r so now we know our value for r so we're going to substitute that in here so but when, when you simplify this anyway, so your R 
40 times 180 divided by 145 pi is going to give you 156 feet. So when you use your calculator for that. So I'm going to use this R value to find my area of a sector. So this is my R value, which is this. So this is this. So this becomes half times R squared. So my R is 156. So this becomes 156 squared times my theta. So what's my theta? This is my theta here. So which is 145 pi divided by 180. So when we compute this, this is just going to be so let, let's let's just use our calculator for that. So we have half, so let's punch on. So we have 0.5 times 156 squared, 156 to the power 2 times 145 pi, 145 pi. So where is um okay here is our pi above this ampersand sign, sign here. So you have second function pi divided by 180 divided by 180. So that was that going to give us. All right, that gives us 30793.9. 30793.9. So this should be in feet in feet squared since we're saying area here so it should be in squared. So and the question says leave your answer to two decimal places. So anyway, the calculator gives us the answer in just a decimal place. So that's fine. That's still fine. So that's going to be your solution.